Now, just as the interest problems can be posed a little differently, so the annuity funds uh, problems can be posed differently as well. So first of all, suppose that we know we'll need a certain amount at some time in the future, and what we want to calculate is the payment that we need to make in order to generate an annuity which will be uh, worth the amount that we need. And in finance terminology, this is known as a sinking fund. Uh, it sounds difficult perhaps, but it isn't really, because all we need to do is rearrange the annuity formula a little bit to solve for the payment, and that can be done easily by simply by dividing both sides of the formula by the annuity factor. Okay, the annuity factor, remember, is 1 plus i raised to the n minus 1 divided by i. If we divide on both sides of the uh, annuity formula by that factor, then we get this result here. Okay, so for example, suppose that Joe will need $18,000 for his business in two years. Maybe he's uh, planning to expand his business or whatever. Okay, so he's going to need 18000 and he's planning to save this money by means of an, an annuity, and he's going to make monthly payments into an account paying 6%, uh, and he needs to know what monthly payment he will need to make. Okay, so we're just going to use that sinking fund formula, which is the annuity formula rearranged. Okay, again, we're going to need to know I and N. Okay, so I is going to be that 6%. And again, we're making monthly payments, so we're going to divide by 12. And this is the same monthly interest rate that we came up with in the previous example. Okay, and then N, you remember, is going to be the number of periods, in this case the number of months in two years, 12 months in a year, so 12 times 2 is 24. Okay, so now we can calculate the annuity factor. 1.005 raised to the 24th power, then subtract 1 and divide by 0 0.005. So let's do that here on the calculator. Okay, 1.005, and there's my raised to a power key right there. And press it, 24th power equals. Okay, so there it is. I have to subtract one from that. And then divide the answer by 0 0.005. And the answer is 25.4319. And that's probably enough places for the accuracy that we want. Okay, so there's the annuity factor. And then to get the payment, all we have to do is divide the desired amount by that annuity factor, 25.4319, so 
Oops, one too many zeros. There we are. And I want to divide that by the answer that I got last time. The answer key at the bottom. And there it is, $707.77.